right, so uh, so what what year is it? Oh, no, Aston Martin AMR DB11. This is the okay. V12. Beautiful uh, car, man. I know this is probably some kind of variant of a twin, uh, dual clutch transmission or speed or something this like that. This one's an eight speed. Eight speed. This one's okay. an eight speed. All I know is the transmission. Oh my god. Dude. Like if you don't warm it up, like yeah. it slips in the morning. Like, sure. If this is yeah, a brand yeah. new car. They're already like. Yep. They're so beautiful, but they're so finicky, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, I, I got another I on the time. channel. There's another. Uh, just so you guys know, uh, on the channel, there's another Aston Martin. I did a. a Aston Martin Vantage V8 4.3 liter uh, six-speed manual. Go check that out on the channel. Uh, but yeah, so that one was a uh, the 4.3 liter. Yeah. Uh, similar styling. Obviously, this one's you know what 13 years newer than 15 years ago. Their styling is still way like what we have now in the space domestically is just now catching up to what the Europeans had 10-15 right. years ago right. uh, in the styling. So that's one thing that jump, jumped out to me. Following an IG, what do you... What do, you uh, uh, I do, I have... Uh, so my social media is actually a Rosenrari, so like, like Ferrari. But, okay. And Ferrari was always kind of like my thing. Uh, well, it's actually a really okay. expensive habit. So. Is, it, is it okay to take a look at the motor? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The latch is on both sides. Oh, so does this come up like a Viper? And so, 5.2 uh, 5 liter, or 5.2 liter twin turbo V12, hand built. Rafael Wallacek was the final inspector. So, remember again, I was telling you about how I did a previous Aston Martin. Um, they all have on their engine, uh, they all have the final inspector who, who finished inspecting. The, and these are hand built engines. I think they have some kind of magnetic suspension. So if you look here, the strut, that looks like some kind of, uh, how long have you owned it now? Uh, I got it right in the first of the year. It's been fun. It's yeah. Fun. It's way different. Uh, also have a 570 uh, McLaren, way different experience than that. It's like two different, completely different driving experiences. Okay, you know? right this on. It's fun, like I love the big engine, I love the power, but yeah. man, you floor it, this thing loses it. Like, okay. It tail comes out, you like, like, right. So I don't drive it too crazy. I'm racing. I don't know how much I'd actually want to try and race in this car. Like, right. Do we know what the curb weight approximately? It seems like maybe more on the heavier, 30, yeah, yeah. 30 500 plus maybe. Yeah. In there. No, I think it's like four thousand. You can just smell like everything's new. It's a 19, but it was sitting on the lot that whole year, so I got a pretty good deal on it. Now you can see all the, the intercoolers for the turbos. The power on this thing, and this is just stock, you know? Yeah. Obviously, you tune it for flex fuel, turn the PSI on the on the blower up a little bit. Oh, yeah. And you're probably at, at least another 100, 150 horsepower. Oh, yeah. It was. Someone did a kit with a tune with this car, and it was, yeah, it popped it up a little faster than DBS. Yeah. I think it was like 7, 750, something like that. It was the same engine as the DBS. Okay. Gotcha. Looks like it's some kind of active panel or some kind of active. Uh, yeah, a little uh, spoiler. Yep. Got sensors all over. Yeah. Um, can we take reactive? <laughs> what the uh, oh the sensors? sensors? Yeah. Okay. I have to turn that thing off sometimes. Like I brought the car into the dealership probably yeah. three times just to get okay. the front sensor checked. And I'm like yeah. oh there's nothing wrong with it, but I, it just goes off randomly. Oh wow. Yeah. Wow. That's so a... I had the whole system reset. I had them check it, and in the process of doing that, my whole center stack uh, started uh, like acting up to where the car would actually just like mess with the volume and, yeah. and all the you know media stuff ended up having it the center stack replaced wow like, it's like an eight thousand dollar part but it's brand new so they, they did right, it still warranty working. It, but yeah. i was like wow he started a company that he talks about like some of the modifications and maintaining long-term ownership of uh aston martin it's yeah. called red pants on youtube gotcha. um and so i checked out his channel lots of information about how to uh, how to maintain these and things to look out for um but these are are uh, you know, a whole nother level when you start talking about all the electronics. And I said the lugs. new one doesn't have the problem. Okay. The new stack. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Can we I mean, can we take a look at the interior real quick? Or? This was the first year that they got rid of. So when they first did the DB11, or they did the straight V12 that wasn't the AMR. Okay. I think mean, it's 2017. And wow. Then 2019, they just continued that one and made the AMR. Wow. So this is the first year that they did the AMR. And this is a whole nother level in terms of like, cause I've, I've touched these before. Like you can just, every, nothing on this feels cheap. It's all like real dense. Um, it's well put together. 
good car, man. Actually, you know what? I think I have the, uh, the original thing with all the specs. I think of the dealership, this guy. Yeah, okay. Right on. It says Be so you, you're out of SoCal or? No, no. Okay. This is just where one of my buddies, uh, we have a good relationship with them back there. and Right on. We just get all our cars How fast there. is this car? Three sec, low, three mid three, yeah. somewhere in there. Like is this when you floor it? Huh? 200 miles per hour. 300? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Galo, I don't, the fastest I've gotten is probably maybe like a, a buck 40. Anything below that, like it doesn't have very good traction. I'm yeah. spoiled with the, the 570 though, because that thing is like a perfect car. Right? Yeah. So, well, because of the, the light and how it's glued down. Yeah, oh um, gosh, dude, it feels like an all wheel drive. Yeah. You know what I mean, with the way it turns. So. You see a lot of roll racing and stuff. When a McLaren gets out ahead of you, it's hard for something to really, you got to have a lot of power to reel a McLaren. Uh, right on, man. Well, uh, so I'll plug your Instagram, uh, and I appreciate you just taking time out. Graham, give him a follow, at Rosenrari on Instagram. I appreciate your time, man. Right, Thank thanks. you.